When the senior president arrived there, he arrived there with a retinue of security staff, sir. And all I told him is that there's, a, there's confusion. We have to know what is the Niger Delta, what is the policy on Niger Delta. You cannot, the federal government cannot be telling me, enforce law, and you will come as senior president and go to see a take a term in the forest. That would be a negation of the policy of the, of the state, saying a take a term must be, must be prosecuted for the crimes he committed. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, you may wish to know that the meeting we had, we had with the with the former president, I think Tom admitted that he had killed over two thousand persons in the presence of the former president. That he had killed over two thousand persons, and now I'm the governor of River State. My responsibility is to enforce law and order. Was I think Tom killing those people with his hands? Where did he, what was he using? If they were guns, where were they getting them? If they were guns, where did they keep them? Did he give it back to the River State government? What is my business? What do I achieve in planting a weapon in Ateke Tom's house? Well, I've asked him the question, he didn't answer. I said, okay, let's even assume that Amechi planted those weapons. Let's assume JTF planted those weapons. The one we saw the day we invaded his house, was Ateke sleeping and we planted them? It's a question he never answered. I stopped the president of the Senate from going to see Ateke because that will negate the policy of the state. And I still insist, except the commission says otherwise, and the commission must convince me, he could not have been killing people and getting away with it, because my children will follow suit. And this gentleman who is speaking here never told me that he sleeps in even at the attack at Tom's uh, house. It means that, as we are talking here, he's among those who are encouraging or participating in the killing and kidnapping of our people. His Excellency, sir. I, I, have, I have always lived in Portai Court and I was born in this town. Questions? Please, sir. You there are other questions, sir. You asked him if he planted the guns, he says no. Yeah, Excuse me, sorry, that's sir. The answer. Yes, well, we listed. We are not, everybody is not a fool. Everybody listed. There are people that can fool some people all the time, but not all the people all the time. A request His Excellency, sir. sir. My Lord, I, I want to take questions. I'm I, not, would, I'm, I, I want to take questions. It's either he's asking questions or he stops political uh, rigmarole here. I would he should ask, ask the would, questions immediately. Or I, I would Mr. ask. Mr. Fagbemi. I would ask questions, sir. Intervene. His Excellency, sir. My Lord. I'm sorry, my Lord. I have the phone now. My Lord, I was compelled to stand up before your lordships came in. I think that the may please your lord, my lords. There is a dividing line between giving opportunity and trying to be rascally. I'm sorry for using that word. Whatever, from whichever angle we view it, the witness deserves some measure of respect. And the, the gentleman to my right will have to comport himself. Nobody has stopped him from asking questions. But this is not an opportunity or a forum my Lord, to engage in political statements which will not assist this commission. I therefore apply that your Lordships be kind enough to confine him accordingly. Thank you very much. You know, the essence of this forum, of what we are doing, is to find out what happened and how we can reconcile people. Well, when a witness gives evidence, you ask him questions. He either knows or he doesn't know. But then you do not go on addressing us as if you are stating your case. Because you can state your case at any time. You can come here with a ticket term, nothing will happen to him. All you are saying, a ticket term, come, come and say it. We have asked his, his Excellency that even before coming here, would you give guarantee that these people will come in and go out without molestation and he has given us his assurance 
in my speech this morning, I mentioned it. In his evidence this morning, he repeated it. Ask questions if you have any. If you haven't, when you are ready to give your, you present your own, uh, your case. You know, we'll be too delighted. Have you got a memo, by the way? Yes, I have. So, so we go by your memo. 